What's up, gang? Roy Piper. Beautiful day here. We're talking like 45 degrees, so really nice porch sitting weather. And uh, I decided that it was time for some March Meerschaum madness. Little spigot um, bent apple meerschaum that I've had for a while that I just never got around to smoking. And uh, I think maybe I'll smoke it this month at the bed. In it, I am smoking some Orlick Dark Strong Kentucky. And it is absolutely wonderful. Of course, the stuff that I have in my pipe right now is aged a bit, uh, so it's really sweetened up a lot, even though it doesn't really need too much help with that. It's a very sweet blend. Um, very, very tasty, and you know what? In my opinion, one of the best coffee blends out there. Awesome to pair up with a little black coffee or however you take it. Man, I am really excited to get outside today, I'll tell you that much. And this pipe is tasting good, so I'm going to keep on enjoying it. I know there's a few uh, newer guys uh, to the YTPC or to the hobby that have joined the channel, and I just want to thank you guys for stopping in and checking out uh, what I've got going on. Um, in that vein, you know, let's talk about Orlick Dark Strong Kentucky, because I guess there's a little bit of... Um, uh, rumor out there that it's going to be scarce or it is scarce right now you can't get it i don't know about that i i need to do a little more research but i thought i'd talk a little bit about the blend why i like it and um, what you can expect from it because it's one of those blends that tends to put people off based on the tin and based off of the uh the name dark strong kentucky sounds like it's going to blow your hair back pretty good um, but it is actually in my opinion a very approachable and mild blend and uh, surprisingly it's actually kind of a crossover aromatic so let's talk a little bit about it and I'll show you kind of what I've got now um, I mentioned that mine has some age on it it's got about uh, I think three years of age and it's been in the jar aging for two of those three years so um, mine tends to be a little darker than what you'd find if you were to uh, purchase a brand new tin um, but, uh, these are probably some of the prettiest flakes I've ever seen. So here is what the flake looks like. Got a little block of flakes here. There's a, a nice bright stripe down the center with, uh, some bright Virginias. And then on the outside, you've got your, uh, Kentucky's, um, Burleys, that kind of deal. Um, beautiful, beautiful flake. And what's cool about this is when you break it up, you can really kind of mix your own bowl. So if you want a little bit more of the darker tobaccos, go that way. If you want some more of the brights, you know, you can go that way. Me, I kind of like to do a 50-50 matchup, but uh, um, this is a really, really fun blend to try. And like I said, maybe this side, you can see a little bit brighter. Um, mine is a little darker. So this, this yellow stripe in the center um, would be much brighter uh, if you had a fresh tin but mine has obviously aged a bit um, so I typically have flakes and then I break up quite a bit of it and then I can kind of like I said mix and match um, what I like um, this is about a 50 50 occasionally I'll just do a bowl of all or mostly dark tobacco just to kind of get the ratios right in my jar so um, really good blend and it has a very sweet we got some dog action going on over here. It has a very sweet topping, actually. Um, and it's it's almost, to my palate, has kind of a um, caramel or a honey, like in that realm, uh, sweetness um, over top of it. Um, it's a, an awesome blend. And one that I use um, a lot of times I'll throw in my pack when I'm hunting. I really like that for some reason because I'm drinking a lot of coffee and it's a great coffee blend for me.
tends to be a little bit wet out of the out of the tin um, so I find that jarring it um, is the best way to keep it and right now I've had it jarred for like two years and it's like the perfect um, water level or, or a hydration level I guess um, for me so um, you know I could smoke it straight out of the jar but out of the tin you typically want to give it you know maybe a half hour to 45 minute dry time uh, just to get to that point where it's not really biting you. Very pleasant room note too. Uh, I've had you know my dad, brother, wife all tell me when I'm smoking it in the uh, hunting blind uh, that it smells really um, sweet kind of like brown sugar molasses -y. and actually that might be more of the topping that, that is on there. It's more of a brown sugary molasses top. Really depends on the puff because sometimes you get that brightness from the Virginia. It's almost always very sweet. A great fall and winter blend, in my opinion, actually. Well, I hope you guys are having a great day. I've got some things coming up on the channel that I've teased. Today I'm going to do an update on uh, what pipes and tobacco I have left uh, for sale. Uh, so I'll be sending that out uh, sometime this afternoon, evening time. And if you want to hit me up and get the list, the price list and all that stuff, uh, you can hit me up at fouriedpiper at gmail.com. And then also in the next couple of days, I'll be showing off my Peterson collection as it is and the cabinet that I put together um, over the last couple of weeks. And I'm telling you what, you guys are going to be really, really impressed with it, I think. And not to toot my own horn, but I just, I think it came out really great. Maybe give you guys some ideas on how you'd like to display your uh, pipe collection at home. Um, and I've got some really cool, just easy, cheap DIY stuff uh, that I did to it to just like jazz it up, but I won't say too much. I'll, I'll wait for that video. Anyhow, I'm going to sit here and enjoy this uh, pipe. Happy March Meerschaum Madness to you uh, folks out there who are celebrating and uh, uh, enjoy your smokes. And I will catch you next time. Take care.